Good evening, my beautiful family. How are you doing this evening? I am doing pretty good. <laughs> Had a long day today. I did do some running around and just winding things down um, this early night, approaching night time. But I'm doing pretty good. I wanted to come on and... Um, talk about something that's um, kind of been on my mind the last couple of days, and I think it's been on a lot of folks' mind um, the last couple of days, a week or so, or even longer. It's a big conversation right now I'm hearing uh, amongst some groups, but and it's actually about the, the rumors of what's to come. And um, it's a conversation that a lot of people don't want to have. I know a lot of people in my circle, some family, some friends, seem to be trying to avoid the conversation. And, um, you know, everybody has their own right to, to talk about or avoid talking about whatever it is that they don't want to talk about that they do you know it's a personal choice uh, I tend to believe that it's in our best interest to not ignore those things that could happen um, when we could talk about it and pro probably prepare better uh, working together you know uh, you know initially with a conversation and p some planning but um, that's just me. That's just that's just how I think. I believe in um, unifying. I'm a big uh, unification mindset person, and I just believe that um, you know many hands lighten the loads, and we are trying to um, say we're trying to, and we I believe we are going back to by force returning to our original selves where we were community mind and um, we were a village and we operated that way at one time we did I think we, we're getting ready to go back to that and it's divine so I want to talk about um, all of the rumors that are out here uh, in the atmosphere concerning what's coming the um, possible grid failing um, I know back here about four years ago, um, when my grandmother was still here with us, uh, her avatar as well as her spirit, and she said something to me. She said, you know, I see something coming, the same situation that happened, she said, when her grandmother shared with her back in the 1920s, when the Great Depression um happened my grandmother said the same thing that was described to her by her grandmother is happening right now she say and in the very near future we are going to be experiencing that she said and, and I, I see that coming and I want y'all to be ready for it she said that about four years ago however actually seven years ago I've been warning my family and friends since about at least seven years ago about um, how to handle their money that that's in the bank, um, buying the, your guns and buying ammunition, stocking up on uh, long-term perishables, uh, growing your own food, um, and just preparing because I knew seven years ago that some things was going to come. And I wasn't actually sure exactly what all was, you know, upon the horizon, but I felt I felt something, and uh, my spirit started to guide me. Uh, this was even before the, um, you know, the what happened in 2020 was even before that time. I knew some very um, challenging things were going to be coming soon, and I started warning my family, and way back then, and many of them, thought I was crazy. <laughs> they thought something was wrong with me. And 
I was trying to tell them, I'm telling you guys, you know, uh, it's coming and, you know, so, you know, you can only try and awake people, warn people for so long and then you can't force people and at some point you just have to let it go and just start taking care of yourself. So I did that and, um, but just so happened a lot of those things that I was sharing with them back six, seven years ago, they, they're happening right now. And they've been happening in phases up until today and still. And so, <laughs> although I'm not one of those people to go back and say, I told you so, you know, of course, in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, I did try to tell them. I just want my family to be safe. I want, you know, my family, my immediate family, biological family, and then I want my extended family, my people, who you know I love as well. But um, some things are upon the horizon, and the writing is on the wall, and I say, God, if you don't see it, man, you definitely got to clean your lenses and get this open because it's right in our face. And... Um, I had a young lady, I used to be a clinical practitioner a few years ago. Uh, I worked in the mental health field. And I had this client, I would do home visits and um, and um, therapy in home visits. And I had this one young lady, she, um, I would always, I would visit her twice a week and do therapy with her. And... It's so strange. I have to tell you this, though, because I want to be honest. It ended up, <laughs> she was doing therapy with me. <laughs> she began to talk to me about um, some of the things that she knew was coming. She was a very uh, awakened young woman, and uh, even way back then, you know, and I myself had not, I wasn't even close to where I am today. I tell people all the time, though, I've always been awakened at a certain level. But I wasn't close to even near where I am today during that time. And that must have been back around 2012, 2011, 12. And she was trying to tell me, uh, she was speaking to me about the, you know, enlightenment and how everything was a lie and we needed to um, leave the church. And, you know, she was talking about, you know, um, white supremacy and how 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 deep it is and how broad it is and how everything is you know connected to it and she was telling me all these things and she was trying to get me to wake up and see and that's why I have to understand some of my family members and my friends today who are having a hard time believing when I share um the only thing about that though is a lot of the stuff I'm sharing it you can you know it's right here you know, as opposed to how it was in 2012. But she kept telling me and telling me, and I was on the edge. It was coming, you know. I was in the the, the, the brink of my uh, transformation of coming out of those holes, but it just wasn't time at that moment. And so she finally got tired of fooling with me, and she <laughs> she stopped doing sessions with me. when, that, Like I said, she was actually teaching me some stuff during my sessions when I was supposed to be teaching her. It's so funny. But um, she got tired of talking to me, you know, and finally she just said, you know, you you know, forget it. And she got to where she didn't even want to do any therapy sessions anymore. And I understood kind of at the time and even better as time went on and definitely I understand today. But I said all that to say these things have been um, in the process for quite some time. And I began to really see it about six, seven years ago. And I started preparing, even, you know, back then I started, you know, spirit was telling me, you know, it's time to do this and time to do that. And I started preparing. So uh, we're seeing now that um, the sun is getting hotter. And like I've said before, you know, that's good for some of us and not so good for others. Um, for us, it's it's great, you know you know, as long as we're prepared. And so the rumors about the um, the grids going down, I just saw some footage uh, a day ago that says that Oklahoma City 
um, has been without uh, power. You know, um, I, I, my understanding that everything has went down. And then a few days ago, I heard Columbus, Georgia, not Georgia, I'm sorry, Columbus, Ohio, had um, their their um, system had had gone down. They, they were without power for some time. And I don't know if it's still that way, but and it, it what came to me is a possible rollout, you know, even a ro rollout or either a test. Um, but the rumor is that eventually the grid is going to fail. Because with the heat rising as it is, um, with the changes in the cos cosmos, um, Mother Nature is, I, be I believe, and I'm hearing, is getting ready to make some changes um, on this planet. Much needed changes. And, you know, the thing about it, the energies, the strong energies that are coming down upon us, you know, I don't know about you guys. I do know there's a lot of people who are feeling it like I am, and I am feeling it very strong. And some of the symptoms are tired, you being tired, you know, kind of semi-exhausted at some points and, um, you know, headaches and for some people, um, you know, I've he heard even people saying confusion and just being achy and their bodies achy and pressure in the in the chest and all of those are symptoms of these cosmic cosmic changes that are taking place in the atmosphere. And it's all natural. It's all it's it's you know it's nature. It's Mother Nature doing her thing to reset this system and collapse the old and you know to uh, continue to bring in the new and many of us who are enlightened to a certain level we understand that we know exactly what what's happening and the thing about it is though and I know you guys have been hearing about this and I've been seeing it all over YouTube and you know um, IG and Facebook to prepare to be prepared like I said I've been preparing for the last seven years but there are still some people who still don't get it and and I think those are the ones who I may be trying to reach right now in this uh, video because we have to be ready for what's coming. So some of the things I want to suggest, um, you know, it's 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 getting hot, guys, and it's affecting our it's affecting the food, the plants. Um, I heard. I've heard people even say that they're that they didn't they hadn't been protecting their dashboard and their cars and it's starting to melt, um, all kinds of stuff, um, and so if this grid collapse, guys, it's gonna and you're not prepared, it's gonna be a mess. So I want to suggest that we. Definitely, we should have been stocking up on food. You see a lot of stores, the shelves are getting low. And I I, I just know in my heart and spirit is telling me these things are not, these are, these things are created. Okay. I have to say it. I have to be honest. And so, but we have to prepare. Once you understand the totality of what's going on, you, you'll really get it, you know, and that's going to require opening up your mind and your your third eye, which is really your first eye, and start paying attention, digging in, researching, and going within so you can understand what's really happening. But prepare, family. You've got to prepare. You've got to have food, canned goods, you know, long-term perishables, Um if you don't have a generator, get a generator. And um, about a few years ago, I purchased a regular generator, and I realized, well, wait a minute. If the uh, grid goes down and I can't have access to fuel, then what, what, what good is my generator? So then I purchased a solar generator. So guys, get a generator, but get a solar generator. That, that way you can have it powered by the sun. That's what I would suggest that you do. Do your research, as I always say, but you got to prepare. You got to get your tools, guys, because this, you know, the, the, in the first few nights, I'm understanding that if, if, if the grid goes out, the first few nights, you know, the, that's when the chaos will begin, the looting and, 
you know, and you can't put, you know, anything past people. You know, there are going to be some people that are not going to prepare. There are going to be some people that are not going to have food and, you know, hungry people, you know, causes, it causes, you know, desperation. And you've seen it in the movies, people, you know, going wherever they can to get food. And so that's when you're going to need your guns. You're going to need your protection. You know, you have a right to defend yourself, to, to defend your family. So, so get your guns, guys. Get your ammunition and know how to use your guns. Um, get your food. Get your um, stock up on medicine. Um, even I, I started purchasing old school medicine. I call it old school medicine. A lot of the natural things that my great great grandmother used to use on for my mother and uh, grandmother. And I started stocking up on all that stuff, you know, cod liver oil, turpentine, Epsom salt, um, witch hazel, um, mentholatum, all that old stuff that we used to use that Babylon and the inorganic ones. Now, you know, they take a little bit and put it in and mix with chemicals and then charge you tons of money for it. Well, Guys, go and just start stocking up on that stuff and put it away, you know, a baking soda, vinegar, you know, it's so, so many of those old items that our great grandparents and our grandparents used to use and our mothers. So start stocking up on that. And, you know, I, I would suggest purchasing a dehumidifier if for some reason, you know, the grid goes down and you can't get water, you know, stock up on water as well. I, I use, um, distilled water and, um, uh, what's the other kind of water? Uh, the, the water that goes through the system, alkaline water. So, um, and I have, I have few kinds of water stocked up, but if it ever comes a time when you do run out of water, if you have a de dehumidifier, and you have a, um, what do you call it, solar, um, the solar system that I mentioned earlier, um, generator, then you can plug in your dehumidifier and you can create your own water. And I mean it works. I, I've, I've done it several times. I, I have a house in Florida, and when we go home, it's so humid there, we always dehumidify our house. And I have two there, and I'll run both of them. And by the end of the day, I both of them are full. So you can you can create your own water. You can pull it out of the air with your dehumidifier. So I would purchase a dehumidifier. This is my suggestion. And um, so if something were to happen, you can create your own water, and then you can get some. Um, though there, there there's some pills. What do you call them? Where you um, purify your water so you can you know purchase go on amazon and purchase some of those water purifiers uh there's a couple of different kinds and you can purify that water that you uh, you know that you uh, pull out of the air from your dehumidifier but these are just things guys that i would suggest you do and things that i that i have done in preparation and um and just have you some food and 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 water um and, you know, stock up, get your guns, you got to know how to shoot, go to the gun range, guys, shoot so you can, you know, not be fearful in a time when you need to, to know how to protect yourself. So, and there's so many other things that I can say, but there are videos, there are people out there teaching you how to prepare for uh, catastrophes, um, how to prepare for uh, famine. And I say just go on YouTube and search for those videos and prepare family. And please don't talk yourself out when you feel in your gut and when you're hearing all these things and then you're seeing all that you're seeing. You got to know that something is coming. So please don't talk yourself out of doing what your intuition is telling you to do. It's better to be safe than sorry. And um, I would even purchase some some um boots some hiking boots <laughs> and get you some first aid um items you know all of that stuff just prepare I, I say prepare i'm a realist 
I am, I've never been a follower. I've always, um, you know, most of the time, if everybody's going in that direction, I tend to be the one going this way. <laughs> and I've just, I've been that, like that since I was a child. And it has, it has protected me really well throughout my years on this planet. So I just wanted to come on and just tell you guys, uh, you know, thing, there's things are going to happen. Th you know, I, I, just, I used to hesitate to say it, but guys, prepare. Please prepare. Uh, I just want my people to be ready. I want all people to be ready, but you guys are my people. You, you know, you guys are, you know, y'all already know. <laughs> so, but anyway, so I just wanted to come on for a few minutes and say this because it's been pressing on my heart. Every time I feel, you know, the, the energies, you know, I think about God, I wonder if my people is feeling this. Are they understanding what's happening and what's, you know, what the rumors are that's going to happen? Guys, you, you know, it's all over social media, the things that are coming. So listen up, take heed and prepare. Please, please, please. Okay. <laughs> I think I've said enough. You get the message. Please click like on the video and share if you think there's anyone out there that can use this information. And I know there's so many of us who need this information still. So please help somebody. Reach back and teach somebody. And um, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so that you can get all of the videos that I do. If you resonate with anything that any of the topics that you see that I share here. And prepare and just take care of yourself family uh, that's that's all I can tell you. you you know I I'm doing my part by coming on here and talking to you I feel like you know if I can just get one person to listen I've done my job so but we have the responsibility to do what we need to do for ourselves so guys please do that I love you I love you I love you so much and we are going to make it through this we are. And, and the one big thing, I'm going to say this and then I'm going to go. But the thing that I'm really excited about is the things that are happening now, the blessing in it, I believe, is that it is going to unite us. We are going to be forced to become family again. And that's the thing that I'm excited about. I know it's going to get hard before it gets easier. But in the end, we are going to have that unity that we was born with that was original in in our in our group with our people and I'm so excited about that so if nothing else that is going to be accomplished mother nature the universe spirit has already told me so I'm excited about that so guys take care do what you got to do I love you have a wonderful night and until next time um namaste assalamu alaikum and I'll shake. Have a good night, guys. I love you.